Hi everyone, Mr. Baumgarten here. We are continuing our series of learning how to program Python. So just a quick note for anyone watching who is not in my classes, we are moving on from using the REPL website and we're gonna start using a programming environment called PyCharms. So if you have not already been to python.org, you need to go there, you need to download and install the latest Python version three, and then you need to go to jetbrains.com, download and install the community edition, which is free or you can pay for the professional edition if you wish of PyCharms. Install both of those onto your computer. My students, that software is already on your machine, so let's start it up. We get the loading box, and then we will be asked to create a project or you open an existing one. So assuming this is the first time you've used it, you won't have any existing projects here. So let's go to create new project Right, at this point, you need to check that your interpreter is Python version three. Uh, uh, you'll probably have a version two Python already installed on your operating system, but version three is what we are wanting to learn. Make sure you select that, and then give your project a name. Uh, obviously, pick what location, what folder you want to store these in. So I'm just gonna call this my first program, even though we've been programming for a few weeks now. Click Create, and this is the PyCharms environment. If you do not have this panel on the side here, just double click that and it opens up and that closes it, there we go. Okay, so anyway, I've got a project folder. There's nothing in here right now. It's an empty folder. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go to File, New, and choose a Python file. Uh, let's just call this Hello. All right, and I've got Hello.py. And if I just type good old fashioned hello world, right, I can now go to run, say yes. And here we go, we will have a console box pop up, pop up down the bottom and there's our hello world. Once we run it the first time, you'll see that we've got the little play button that appears and we can use that and that will start the program for us. All right, so now we can use any of our existing Python code that we have learnt. Right, and we can run it and it will just work. So what is your name? And that works a treat. So you can start migrating all your Python code across from REPL into PyCharms projects and that works fine. But one of the big reasons why we're gonna use PyCharms is so that we can do more than what's possible with REPL. For instance, we're gonna start doing some graphical programming uh, make, to eventually make some games. So before we can do any graphical programming or anything like that, we need to install some extra libraries into our PyCharms. So we go to File, Default Settings, click on your project interpreter Make sure this drop-down box uh, has a three in it for Python version three. So you can pull that, that down. All right, and then grab your little plus sign to install. And we are gonna install Pygame. So that's just P-Y-G-A-M-E. And there it is there. And click the, make sure you tick this tick box. Okay, uh, especially as my students, if you do not tick this tick box, you will be asked for a password and you'll get a permissions error. Uh, you won't be able to install it on your school laptop. If you do tick the tick box, it will work on your school laptop. Uh, and then, I don't know if you can see that, click the little button that says install package. And wait a moment, you can see it's working because the little spinny thing. Pygame installed successfully. I can now close this. And we'll see here in my list of packages that I've got installed, I now have Pygame, so I'll click OK. How can we test that Pygame is working? Well, let's make a little app that uses it. So I'll delete my existing code. And to install a package or a library into Python, it's just the keyword is import and I'm gonna install Pygame, and I'm gonna also use the time library. All right, 
Pi game init starts up initializes a Pi game program and I want to create a window. Don't worry about too much about what this code actually looks like uh, because we will be going through it all in detail in the coming videos. So this is just a quick little hello world equivalent to test that everything works fine. Uh, I need to set up a font. So pygame.font. Uh, font, And let's just use a really exciting font such as Arial, but we'll, let's make it size 60. Uh, and then I'm going to use that font to create a label. So my font. Let's render some text. Hello, Pygame. anti aliasing and let's pick a color and let's throw this onto our screen using the blit command what the heck does that mean don't worry we will get there I promise and we want to display it this is a lot of code for a hello world okay when we start dealing with graphics the amount of code that you have to write increases exponentially. All right, let's display it on the screen for five seconds and then just quit our program. All right, so I have a little Pygame program. Let's click play and see if it works. There we go. It works beautifully. All right, so hopefully now you have a working install of PyCharms and Pygame has been installed and you've been able to test it. That's all for today's video. See you next time. Thank you. Bye.